Hey guys, it's me, Ronald Chris Tomber here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We've got a storm system inbound. I want to take you to water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, uh, the moisture transport is aloft, is in the whites, the blues, and the greens. So let me mark the next storm. You can really see the spin right here. This one, stronger than its predecessor, comes in a little further north, runs right down through the interior Rockies. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, New Mexico will benefit more from this one than the one before. And all of this just roaring in on this uh, subtropical jet stream and wait till you see this thing by the time we get to the first week of February when things really start to shift. All right, here's what I'm thinking this afternoon. Latest info here. Storm system coming in 124 to 126. California, you've got snow coming in tomorrow, light to moderate, and then a much warmer pattern, 126 to 127 with the rain snow line potentially at 9,500 feet. If we get moisture, it's going to be pretty high up. You can see the timeline for Utah, Colorado, and the Tetons. It's possible Utah, the Wasatch, and the Tetons uh, tonight see an inch of snow. Um, and then the better storm, 125. Um, in Colorado, you have much lighter snow accumulations coming 125, 126. Same thing holds true for the Northeast as we talked about this morning. Light snow imminent now into 124, rain 25, 26, and then a better area of low pressure with a better track, moderate to heavy snow, 128. Let me take you back and show you the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs, light snows over the Tetons and the Wasatch, maybe an inch. And then here comes the storm system, comes running out of California late on the 24th into the 25th. Morning of the 25th, you've got snow uh, in Idaho, Montana, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and then eventually that moves into Colorado, and that snows there into the 26th, also New Mexico, and then that area of low pressure exits late on the 26th. So this, this pattern, 127 through 131, same thing we talked about this morning, um, brief high pressure ridge over Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. So not much is going to happen during that time period. Then the door appears to swing wide open with a very strong jet stream um, coming in the first week. And I'll show you that. Wait till you see that the first week of February. Very interesting setup. Um, let me just show you this. So this is snowfall today. Aliesk is still beating the lower 48. But in the lower 48, Alta has the most snowfall on the cusp of 300 inches. And the storm system coming in on 125, it's very possible it pushes you over um, 300 inches. I'm thinking probably 6 to 10 inches and Little Cottonwood Canyon, so that could certainly do it. Um, Steamboat doing exceptionally well this year at 207. Jay Peak, a standout up there in the northeast at almost 200 inches. Uh, Revelstoke at 194. Um, Aspen Highlands at 175. Vail, 164. Um, so Wolf Creek could use more snow, 157. Uh, what else do we got that's interesting? Palisades has moved up. Palisades Tahoe, 124. Loveland at about uh, 116, and Taos needs more snow. All right, let me take you into the forecast aspect of this. So here's the jet stream. This is tomorrow, escorting that storm in from California into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and Colorado. Um, the next step down the road is 127. This is the start of that high-pressure ridge for the interior states. You can see it happening there, and there's no cold air. It's all bottled up into Canada with this pattern. And then here is the latest evolution of 2-1, February 1st. Look at that powerful jet stream coming in. That is really something to behold, and it looks like it's going to swing the door wide open for moisture transport. So that should overrun um, and bulldoze that area of high pressure that's sitting over the interior states for that uh, three or four day period. This should change that. Let me show you this. So this is a much wider perspective. United States on one side and you've got Asia on the other. The jet pattern, that's what you're looking at, the jet stream pattern over the North Pacific here, um, you can see it. It's, it's, elong it's stretched all the way across the Pacific, the entire distance. It is a powerful jet. So the moisture transport here could be significant. We could be looking at some sort of atmospheric river set up for the West Coast. Nothing set in stone, but it's a possibility when you see something like this. And this could, again, uh, totally overrun that high and, and really create a nice moisture transport beyond California into Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, all possibilities. Just want to put that out there right now. Um, it's something I'm watching, and I'll continue to update here. Snowfall by period. Very light stuff tonight. You can see that. Very light numbers. Um, let's look at... 
125 to 127 for the storm system. So again, about 6 to 10 in Little Cottonwood, about 6 in Big Cottonwood, less up in Park City, Deer Valley Snow Basin, 4 to 8 in the Tetons, 1 to 5 in Colorado. You can see that. Um, so those numbers have crept up just a touch, and then a little bit up there in Washington and B.C. Final time period, 128 to 131. California starts to see an uptick in the snow as the moisture increases late in the period. Um, looks like Whistler does very well. Um, looks like some snow overruns interior BC into Kicking Horse and Revelstoke. And the numbers will continue to go up if the pattern holds in Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado. One last stop up in the Northeast. The numbers, again, most of this, the bulk of this accumulation happens on 128. If that storm system holds, you'll get most of the accumulation that you see right here on that date. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.